Hi, this is Gia from the Boys and Girls Club of North Lake Tahoe, and today I will be showing you how to make a dream catcher bracelet. It takes a little bit of time, have fun though, keep with it, and you'll have a really amazing result. Materials for this project include some embroidery string, some hemp string, a needle that the embroidery string can fit through, a key ring or binder clip, or just a ring in general, a pair of scissors, and I also use some tape. Okay, the first step is you're going to tie your embroidery string on. Don't be so picky about how you tie it on. It doesn't really matter as long as it stays. And then you go around and around and around and around until your whole ring is covered. This does take a while, so just be patient with it. Watch a movie while you do it. Have a good time. Use it as a sort of meditation. Around and around and around. Okay, the next step is to take your other colored embroidery string or friendship bracelet string, however you wish to call it. Find the end. Okay. And then put it through your needle. And uh, in this case, you could just tie a knot on there so it stays on. You don't have to have it uh, go through like when you're sewing. I'm going to cut it off again at the end. Dun, dun, dun. Cut a pretty long piece, doesn't matter, you can cut a little bit off at the end. Okay, the first step is to take the end without the needle and to tie it on to your dream catcher. Double knot. There you go. I'm gonna trim off that edge. Can trim it a little bit better later if I'd like. Okay, once it's tied on, you want to start to make the sides of your dream catcher. So I'm gonna come through, I'm gonna come around, and then I'm gonna pull back through the middle here. You're gonna see that that will help you make a nice knot. Make it nice and tight on there. I'm gonna try to get five even pieces on here. That's kind of tough. It does take a little bit of working it. Okay, again, that will be my second one. I'm going to come through between the string and the edge of the dream catcher. Okay, and as I start to pull tighter, I want to put it in the position where I want it, which is about here. There you go. See, now I have two sides. Hopefully it makes it even. Otherwise, I just have to undo it and do it again. Okay, so from the bottom, again, I'm gonna pull through that little hole there created. Oopsie, I pulled too tight, too fast. That's okay, it's a good example of how to show you how to loosen it up again. I like to just get my little needle in there. There, give myself some slack and pull it where I want it. One, two. Three. Don't worry if it's behind. Okay, here's my fourth one. There's that. Again, pull, th put it through that little space. And four, and the last one's gonna come right back on top of that old one, or the first one that you started with. In that space, and get it nice in place. 
Okay, now I have to start doing my inner circles. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure that this is coming from the bottom. Okay, once I pull, push it through, see it's now from the bottom, I wanna come up and into that loop. You see how I made that little loop right there? Okay, if I, you look at it from this side, you're gonna come through the middle and through the loop. Okay, that's gonna give you something to pull on. Now I've got that little loop there, I wanna put it right in the middle. See, it slid over, and that's okay. Because we just push it to the middle and pull. That's our first one. Okay, now, now you're gonna go down and over. Pull that tight. And again, down through that one. It's a little bit hard to get it in there, it's good. And over the one that's in the middle. Slide that knot over. Okay, again, I'm kind of pinching it with these fingers just to keep it nice and tight. Again, I'm going down in between the string and the bar and I'm going over the string that's by my hand. See, hopefully it doesn't get knotted up around my wrist. Okay, push it to the middle and pull it nice and tight. And I hold it with my fingers here. Again, down and over. Push to the middle and pull it nice and tight. You can see my star shape coming. Okay. I'm gonna do it to that last one, down and over. It's actually the first one. Pull to the middle, pull tight. There we go. Now I'm gonna be doing the next layer. So this little pentagon inside here, one's under my thumb, two, three, four, five. Okay, again, same thing down in the middle and over that pull towards yourself. Okay, once you get to the end and your dream catcher looks, you know, pretty symmetrical. Oops, I just messed up that middle one. It's kind of that's the hardest one, is that last one. Okay, you see, there you go. Okay, then you want to tie it off, make your last knot. You can see if I move this, it goes around. So I want my last one to be a double knot. I'm gonna go through the exact same one again, and over again. And of course, like always, it's gonna get stuck behind there, but that's okay. And I'm gonna make that nice and tight. Just pull it back and forth until it's nice and tight. There we go. And snip it off. And you can see my finished dream catcher. Give you a nice space to see it. Ta -da. Okay, next step is to take your twine Okay, and you're gonna cut about the length of your wrist around with some extra room to spare. You can use two colors or one color. I'm just gonna go with one color. All right, and you're gonna see that I'm going to just put this over. Actually, I'm gonna use this one because this one doesn't look so nice. I'm gonna put it through there and back through there. I'm gonna get my ends so that I can pull it evenly around. Second one, you're gonna cut a little bit more than double. Let's say double, it's okay. It's better to use too much and have to cut a little bit at the end. All right. Now, I'm gonna put this one through. It's gonna get a bit of a bit frayed there. I'm 
I'm going to put it through this side as well and pull the ends together so that it makes an even ring there. I'm going to do the same with the longer piece. Put one end through one side and the other end through the other side. Pull the ends, put the ends together and pull. Now this middle one is just going to stay there. It's just going to stay in the middle. I'm going to lay it down so you can see. I've got one end piece. This first knot's always the hardest. Another end piece and the middle. Okay, the long ones are on the ends and the middle is in the middle. Now that I've had uh, I have a little bit shorter string, let me show you again. It's under, over, and push through. Then you pull from both the sides. There you go. Again, under, over, push through. Keep the middle straight, push both sides. Oopsie, I'm twisting, that's okay. Under, over, and through. Pull both sides. Okay, once you get to the end, I take the middle strands and the one next to it, and I just take, tie one little knot here, just to make sure that it's not going to come apart. Okay, now we do the other side. Last step is to tie it onto your wrist and go out and show off all your hard work.